Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about how things get distorted and how we can change something that has been distorted and restore it to its natural expression. So what do I mean when I talk about distortion? If you haven't been here before, hello, welcome. I'm Jay, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> weird. That's, um, that's literally how I'd introduce myself if we were in person, but we're not. Let's just pretend that we are for now. Um, when I say distorted, I mean something has been twisted or bent out of its original shape. The analogy that I want to use right now is imagine if or imagine when a straw has been put into a glass of water, right? When the straw goes under the water level, the image distorts. So it looks like the straw's got a bend in it. If you haven't done this, go and do it. I'm sure you did it in like third grade. Um, but when you take the straw out, obviously it's still the same straw. This is what I'm talking about when I say distortion. Where do we experience this in everyday life? Sexuality gets distorted. Our image of basically everything is has been distorted by one thing or another. Something that started out as something so pure and original and beautiful and innocent can become changed. Our perception of it can become warped. Our ideas about it can become really like different from the original thing. And so it creates this kind of like weird alternate reality where what was supposed to be or started out as being like really beautiful and pure and you know, just pure creative energy has ended up being this thing that's like causing a whole lot of like pain and chaos and destruction for a lot of people. And I guess this can happen like on a macro scale in the world or it can happen on a micro scale in our lives. Um, sexuality is just a really good example of this. If you think about like sex is literally one of the most innocent and incredibly creative things that we can do. <laughs> Welcome to the channel if you're new here. This is kind of the stuff that we talk about um, or that I talk about. It's along the way it's been relegated to this thing that you know we can't really talk about and if we do talk about it we're going to talk about it in these um, kind of hushed tones and it's going to be you know this like not exclusively taboo topic but the way that we talk about it is going to make us infer from context that it's taboo like I don't know about you guys but I grew up in a home where it was kind of like if you were talking about sex it was something that grown-ups talked about it was something that was like you know very off limits and off the table for anyone under the age of 18 as far as I was concerned when I was growing up and so you kind of infer as a child you kind of infer you're like um okay so this is something that's like you know and it's like adults have really warped perceptions around it as well I mean the adults in my life had really warped perceptions around it and so I kind of inherited that from them and that's how like our cultural prejudices and our ideas about things get passed down to us it's like the people in our lives who are responsible for kind of I mean, we are responsible for ourselves once we get to a certain age. I guess we kind of always are, but like practically, we're responsible for ourselves until we get to a certain age. But the people that, you know, are guiding us and leading us and raising us don't really understand or have their own like prejudices and ideas about these certain things. And then we inherit those things and it creates, um, it shapes our experience. So like for me, for example, going into yeah, going into the experiences, especially when I was really young, there was so much like shame around sexuality. There was so much um, just confusion <laughs> around sexuality. And there was so much that I really didn't understand and didn't know. And so going into it, it wasn't for me like this. Um, it, it just, it became really awful. And it became this thing that um, was the breeding ground for a lot of my life lessons. And the beginning of a lot of things um, that I learned the hard way, like really, really difficult lessons that I needed to learn. What else does this happen with? Our ideas about money, our ideas about friendship, our ideas about relationships, our ideas about family. Literally everything has the potential to be distorted. And um, yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, I kind of want to talk around or talk about how, I guess, how that happens, why it happens, and then how we can kind of create a clearer vision and a clearer picture of things. Because what I'm realizing now is that when we talk about like vision, I mean, vision means vision, right? Like it's, it's, it's being able to see something that doesn't exist yet. It's being able to um, have a clear picture of, you know, I guess where you want to go, what you want to create. And 
it's also like being able to see clearly what's right in front of you. Like having a clear vision is also, you know, being able to see things as they really are. Situations, people, relationships, um, opportunities. Like I always used to think the vision was this thing of like, oh, okay, so I'm going to picture something that hasn't happened yet that's like way out in the future, like really big picture. But I'm realizing now that like if you think about it, like it's your literal vision, like your sight and your eyes. It's what, it's how, it, it's how I am able to better navigate my life as it is right now. So it's like, you know, if I don't have a clear vision or I can't understand, you know, things or people properly or, or, or easily or clearly, it's harder to make decisions. Like it's easier to miss opportunities. Like, do you get what I'm saying with this? It's like vision is not just about out there. It's about right here. And it's about what, it's about how you perceive what's happening all around you. It's about how you perceive the situations in your life. Like how you perceive the challenges that you're facing right now, the so-called problems that you're experiencing right now. When you have a clear vision, you're able to see problems like not, as problems that are these like awful things that are like you know the walls are closing in around you it's more of like a okay cool so for me right now like the, the way that I kind of view like problems is like they're just like part of life <laughs> like, they're just like they're part of this experience and they're part of this existence and rather than I think I used to have this really small view of myself and big view of my problems so it was like my self is like this and my problems are like that and so obviously I was scared all the time now it's kind of like okay cool so I'm here I know I have a sense of my own power I have a sense of my own self I have a sense of my own capabilities I have more of a sense of my own capabilities than I've ever had which is cool like it's you know that's growth right it's like it's a cool thing um and that wavers day to day, like it's not, you know, it's not an exponential thing. I don't think, I feel like some days I feel more sure of myself. Yeah, definitely. I feel more sure of myself some days than others. Um, but there's this consistency of like challenges of these things that are always going to be there. But in comparison to, or in contrast with like who I am, they're okay. Like they're not that big a deal. And this goes for all challenges. Like it can be like little things, big things. I feel like, again, my perception of this stuff has changed so drastically so that there's not even really like what I think, what I would have used to have thought of as this giant big thing is just not anymore. And so this is what I mean by what I say, like, yeah, having a clear vision, like my, my perception of these things has changed and it's clearer now than it was and how do I know it's clearer how do you know when you're getting closer to the truth of a situation relief um, consistency like you can apply the same principles again and again and again and achieve not like achieve the same results but there's a sense of like continuity it's like okay so I you know I, I follow my heart for example and you know, I create this scenario and I have a, you know, positive experience. So I know that, you know, as I do that again, I follow my heart again in this situation and choose that over like my expectations of myself, I'm going to have another positive experience. So there's like this internal kind of feedback loop that's happening. That's like, okay, yeah. So I did that and it was great. And so I'm going to do that again because it's great to do that. Yeah. Um, and just generally like, I feel more like myself. Like I know I'm getting clearer and closer to the truth because I feel more like myself and I feel more in control of things. Yeah, I feel more empowered in my life. Make sense? Awesome. <sighs> How do things get distorted? Just shame. <laughs> I feel like somewhere along the way, I mean, if we go back to talking about sexuality or even like money, for example, somewhere along the way, someone decided that the, you know, I mean, there's different theories around this and you can go back into, you know, there's probably a thousand different myths about why and how a lot of people talk about how, you know, they believe that um, it's the things that are the most powerful that we have the most shame around because as a society and a culture, we've been conditioned to feel disconnected from our own power. 
and it's easier for the powers that be to kind of get away with what they're getting away with if they have a population and you know humanity is feels powerless right like I mean it makes a lot of sense that way of looking at things because it's like and I know from my own experience like when I've felt powerless I've been a lot less likely to question the way that things are and then I certainly haven't had the energy to create any kind of like real change or like create things in the world whereas as I've felt more like empowered in myself I felt more energy and I have this capacity now to create things that I believe are better in the world checks out and I mean you know the, I mean you go back to Christian mythology and they talk people talk about like the fall of the fallen angel being the devil and like that's the time when everything went to shit like it doesn't actually matter the reality is like we're playing with what is right now and acceptance of like what is the truth and what is here with us right now and you can relate this back to whatever's going on in your life right now it's like what is it that you can tell it's not a clear expression you can tell that there's shame around something and it feels like it's distorted and some signs of this I'm just going to give you an example because this is what inspired this whole video for me I've had this like and I've spoken about this a lot over the years I think it's had different iterations but I've had this voice that's like this really scared inner child inside of me that's been freaking out about a lot of stuff and it's this voice that kind of like wants to do crazy things sometimes like it wants to yeah it wants to go out into the world and do like crazy shit it wants to go hitchhiking it wants to um you know give people free hugs on the street and I've done all of these things like they're not um they're not dangerous but they are the kind of thing where I mean they're a little bit out there they're a little bit unorthodox from my current vantage point I don't know you might be sitting there being like that's the most normal thing in the world awesome um, but it's like for me there's a lot of resistance around those things and what I realized kind of at different points you know and it, at, in different levels is that when I have resistance around something the worst thing that I can do is pile on more resistance and the best thing that I can do is kind of bring whatever's like I'm trying to I want to shove into the darkness out into the light so I literally just before was literally just, you know, I, I journal and I'm like, hey, talk to this voice, talk to this part of me. Hey, honey, how's it going? What's up? What are you really craving? What do you really want? And this is how we clear distortions. This is, you know, we take the straw out of the water. We, we just like bring the darkness to the light. We bring the, because it's not even bringing the darkness to the light. It's literally just bringing the thing that we've pushed back into the shadows, bringing it forward and bringing it out. And light just means awareness. So if you, yeah, that's literally it, light means awareness. If you've got something that has kind of been like niggling, like a little at the back of your brain or like, you know, just kind of, it just pops up every now and then, you're like, oh, oh, oh. And you can tell for me that sometimes I can often, there's a vis reaction that I'm like Bruh, like I wanted to clap back at it and there's this like internal conflict that you know plays out <laughs> fun times but it's that rather than clapping back it's the allowing and it's the bringing forward of and it's the it's just the ability to have like that awareness and shine the light on it and literally, you know, write it down, <laughs> talk about it, say it out loud, communicate in whatever way you can, as best you can, with this part of yourself. I've done this with so many different pieces of me, so many different, like, um, aspects, if you want to call them that, of my psyche over the years, and it's fascinating like that's the right word for it it is fascinating to be able to dialogue with different parts of myself like and this was you know I started doing this in a time when I was in a lot of kind of codependent attachments with other people and 
attachments with social media. Like I was always, you know, I'd show up on social media just so I can get likes and validation and attention. I didn't even really realize that's why I was doing it at the time. I kind of just thought I wanted to like help people and I did. And I also, you know, needed, there was this feeding off happening, like this external validation piece that I kind of wasn't ready or I, I couldn't see yet. I don't think I was ready to admit that to myself yet, that that's why I'm doing it. But when I started, it's literally just like a whole 180 of like from your focus goes from here to here and looking at these aspects of myself and kind of connecting with myself in this way, life just got so much more rich and rewarding and fulfilling. And I always used to hear people talk about like, you know, you have everything you need within you and you are more than enough. And I was like, I just, because I, I didn't have the kind of awareness about what was going on inside of me, I didn't really understand that. Turning that lens around changed everything. Because all of a sudden I was like, oh, you mean I have this aspect and this aspect and these voices and these qualities and these experiences and, you know, and this idea and that idea and that power and that strength and that like goddamn creativity. Like, it's like, holy shit. And you actually get to, you actually get to experience yourself. And this is my whole thing, right? This is like, it's everything for me right now. It's like, how can I... I'm just experiencing myself like why else are we here <laughs> literally why else are we here except to experience ourselves the way I see it I'm experiencing this section or this like expression it's a better word for it of divinity I'm never again going to get to be who I am right now and so, I don't know, there's no like, there's no end to that. It's just, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's literally just, it is. I'll never again be who I am right now. And that's cool. That's really cool. So the distortion thing, if there is a part of you, and yeah, you're kind of, I mean, how have I been able to tell this distortion? Yeah, just feeling off, feeling off kilter, feeling out of whack, feeling, I mean, everything that kind of doesn't have, if you feel like you're over-exaggerating something or downplaying something, or you kind of just get to know that, you know what, you know what a clear expression is, and I can feel it now when, you know, who I am and what I'm doing is like clearly expressed. But don't get too hung up on these like clearly distorted kind of words. It's just, if there's things in you that just bring it out. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, just bring it out. Yeah, look at it. Just look at it. Talk to it. Be with it. It's all you have to do. And the next steps will become clear. Yeah. Because when you do this enough, then it's like you feel safer with yourself. And you don't have to go to other people to be like, you know, oh, help me feel safe. Like, help me accept myself. You know, if you accept this about me, then that's enough. Like, it's not. You go, I've done this a million times, but like, you know, wanting to use other people's acceptance as proxy for your own. And so it's like, oh, if they accept me, like that's, you know, that's all I need. So I'll just keep showing up for them. And as long as they're, they're still accepting and they're not turning on me, it's fine. It's not. Like, I mean, I want to, you know, it's about being able to accept ourselves. And the more that you do this, yeah, the safer that, or the more that I've done this, the safer I feel with myself. And the more just the more fun I have as well. Like, you know, I can go out into the world or I can just be here with myself now and I can bring through like pieces of my expression and I can bring through like, you know, like I can be silly and I can do like these things that are just like all of me to the table. And it's just this, um, I mean, that's creativity, right? It's like you have access to all these different like tools and things and pieces and whatever. You can just be like, yeah, <laughs> take it all, have it all. 
what about this? Try this. Have this. Let me experience this. And um, <laughs> and I mean, I'm doing it for you guys, but I'm doing it for me. Like it's it's both and. Yeah, it is. It's both and. It's not but. It's like I'm doing it for me and I'm doing it for you guys. It's cool. It's cool. 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 Okay. If you have questions, which I'm sure you do, post them in the comments. Message me. Yeah. If there's anything else, let me know. This stuff is fun. It's really fun. Alright, I will see you in my next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day.